Okay, so for this song, we tune the low E string down to a D. I'm gonna find the D string here. And then bring the low E down to that same pitch. So then when I'm playing a D chord, you can get all, all six strings or now just the low three strings themselves, or two or three strings, is a D chord. And then since we're playing all three strings open with no finger, well then we can one finger wonder, you know, that's, that's a lot of fun. See how easy it is just to come up with a riff, just keeping that thing kind of chunking along there. And that's all they're doing, really. They're just getting that thing going, except they're combining the octave here, which is just like a power chord based on the fifth string, but we're skipping over that fourth string. We want to mute it out somehow. And then just get those two notes like that. And then the riff is, you might want to try just one measure at a time. The first measure is... Once again, second measure is, and that slides, they're doing a slide without, without picking it. Third measure is back to the 12th fret, and last but not least, it's, the last one's easy, it's just... So maybe start with the last measure because that's less of this kind of stuff and more of just playing one octave versus the, the low note. So maybe the, the, the fourth measure might be the easiest one to jump into just to get the technique over here of switching between those two shapes. The last measure, once again, was... And all together it's... And it's all eighth notes. One and two and three and four and... Something like that. So uh, have some fun with that. And remember, try one measure at a time. Keep it steady and uh, all those techniques. Cool, man.